This one is called the Triangle Knot. Also found when looking at names on this one, it sometimes is mixed up with a twisted knot. Okay, so slight variation in shape. Twisted knot has both arms going, triangle knot, one arm. I do find also triangle knot takes slightly less flexibility of the shoulders. Let's be honest, significantly less shoulder flexibility. Okay, so for this one, this triangle knot, um, you can invert up into it, you can descend down into it. Before starting in on this move, you should be comfortable with an outside leg hang, as in pretty solid, no hands, okay? Ideally, better yet, you should be comfortable with leg switches. That would be awesome, but this is also a good place to start. If you're working towards leg switches, this might be a good introduction for you, okay? So for this one, you're going to start from an outside leg hang. You can get into that however you want. You can drop down into it. You can invert up into it, whichever you prefer, okay? So from an outside leg hang here, I'm going to rond de jambe or circle my inside leg with my toes as low to the ground as I can. I don't want my toes up towards the sky. I want them down, circle, and pull that leg crossbody so I really feel the pull on that inner thigh there, okay? Once I get it to that inner thigh and I start to feel that squeeze, then the second leg that is currently hooked, I'm gonna think of as if I'm trying to scissor my legs, like I'm really squeezing, like I'm trying to do the pee-pee dance and hold the pole between my legs. I'm gonna straighten it first to make sure that I'm solid, okay? So I feel that hold between both thighs. Then when you're ready, you're gonna lower that second leg and really pike. As you lower, make sure your upper back is engaged and you're lifting your chest and that keeps you locked in. Okay, once that second leg is in place, the bottom leg, which is now your inside leg, you're going to bend, okay? So the top leg is straight, the bottom leg is bent. Now, your inside arm is going to reach up to that first leg, and if it can't grab, that's fine, okay? You can grab the knee, you can grab the ankle, and you're gonna push. So I'm pushing it out, and in doing that, it actually locks in my hip even more on this inner thigh, okay? So as I push this leg. Second arm, you can have it reaching down towards the ground. You can grab the pole, make it geometric, make it rounded, make it straight, whatever shape you would like. When you're ready to come back out, release the hand, rehook in that outside leg hang, and then coming up and out, however you prefer to come out of an outside leg hang. Okay, so a couple things to think about. Whew. Sometimes it rearranges your shorts. Really important on this is this crisscross of the inner thighs. Your thighs are keeping you alive, okay? And as we say in the pole dance world, thick thighs save lives. So those of you that maybe have thinner thighs or slightly less endowed, you're gonna have to work a lot harder, okay? So, but that doesn't mean that this move isn't doable, okay? Remember, every move is a little bit different, different bodies, different shapes, different flexibility, different proportions. Moves will look different depending on flexibility. Your legs might not be as low as mine. That's okay too. Make your own shape, okay? So checklist on this one. Inverting to an outside leg hang. Rond de jambe in that inside leg um, with the toes as low to the ground. Those of you that are familiar with a jade split, it would be very similar as if you were about to go to a jade split, how you circle that leg. In circling that leg, the inside leg, you want to feel the pull way up in here, like almost up in your business, okay? Edge of your shorts line. If we take the leg up and over versus around, sometimes the pole tends to stick up here on our upper thigh, and it's not gonna be as secure when you release the leg, especially if you have bigger thighs. And I don't know about all of you, there's this muscle that we get right here from pole because we do all of these things, all this adduction. So a lot of us have a thicker section of our thighs here, okay? So sometimes that just gets caught on the pole if we try and go up and over versus if we circle around, we can kind of bypass that thicker area and get it up in our business a little bit more. Not literally in your business, slightly off center, okay? Regardless of what kind of bits you got there. So I'm gonna rondage on that inside leg until I feel it on that inner thigh. Like I said, you're really gonna think as if you're doing the peeping dance. I'm thinking of trying to do this with my legs in this transition before I bend my leg. You can't fully because you know the pole is in your way, but this adduction exercise, really engaging those inner thighs, that's what I'm doing with my legs, okay? So like I said, you can't really see that entirely in the pole. It doesn't go quite to that point because, you know, the pole is in the way. I can't crisscross quite as much, okay? So you really want to think squeeze, 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 squeeze. 
the upper back part I was talking about, and this is something that you should be doing in any of your leg hangs anyway, jade split, that kind of thing, is when you do go bring it to bring that second leg down, a common thing that happens is in many things in pull, when something feels scary, uncertain, not just in pull, let's be honest, in life also, we tend to sometimes want to kind of curl up in a ball and hide, okay? So when you're taking it to that round de jambe around, if leg hangs are kind of you know, newer to you or maybe not 100% comfortable with switches, that kind of thing. What tends to happen is when we start to take that second leg around, we tend to like brace for something horrible to happen. You have to fight that urge and instead do the opposite and chest out, okay? Reason for that is by sticking your chest out, when you do that, this inside arm is going to increase contact point on the back of the shoulder here, okay? So the more I think of sticking my chest out, the more it locks this in, and the more I push there, it pushes me more into here, okay? If I hollow, it takes me out of this point and this point. If I stick tits out, it pushes me in to both points, okay? So when you're ready to circle that second leg around, be very cognizant, you're on your outside leg hang. You're thinking, I'm going to circle that leg. Maybe you're thinking, oh crap, I might die. Maybe you're totally good with it, either way. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, circle the leg around and think, stick your titties out, okay? That's gonna help keep those contact points. Second leg comes around, we're gonna feel that thigh hold, we're doing the pee pee dance with the pole, then you're gonna bend the only leg that you can bend, right? You're gonna crisscross, the leg comes down right on top of it, okay? If that feels comfortable and you're like, okay, okay, I'm trusting this thigh hold, then we can reach up with that inside hand. Remember with that inside hand, when we do grab, it's grabbing the opposite leg at the angle because that's the one that's straight and I'm pushing it, okay? So instead of my leg staying on line here, I'm pushing it to the side, which of course is gonna ram that pole even more into your business, okay? <laughs> it's gonna feel amazing, don't worry, okay? So it's pushing to the side and it, it will kind of like your chest will rotate a little bit. I mean, once again, depending on bodies, depending on you know how slippery, how sticky you are in the pole, of course, so many variables. So some people might rotate a lot, some people might not rotate visibly, but a smidgen, okay? Then that second arm, you can stylize however you want. Jazz hands, spirit fingers, make finger puppets, I don't care, whatever works for you, okay? So this move works on spin or static, you can do it either way, you can invert up into it, you can descend down into it, spin, static, it can be the beginning of a combo, it can be the end of a combo, it can be a photo shoot pose, whatever you want, okay? So with all of those little cues and tidbits in mind, let's just do one more little time run through, okay? So outside leg hang, make sure that chest is sticking out, Rond de on that inside leg so you feel it on that inner thigh. Really squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And remember, the more I bring my toes towards my nose, the more it's going to lock me in. My arm is pushing back here so I feel that contact point. Second leg, first straighten it. Feel the fact that you're scissoring the pole. Really squeeze those thighs together. Then it sinks down so my ankles are crossed. The bottom leg, which is my inside leg, bends. The inside hand reaches, and like I said, it can grab your knee, it can grab your ankle, whatever feels more comfortable. Hand wherever you want it based on shape. If you want to make triangles, squares, straight lines, grab the pole, whichever you would like. Okay, when you're ready to come out, rehook outside leg and bring it down. All right, Whew. so that is your triangle. Okay, not to be confused with the twisted knot. Very similar, but different. Okay, play around with it. Have some fun with it. Like I said, you should be comfortable with an outside leg hang first. So if outside leg hang is still a work in progress or you're not quite comfortable freeing up your hands, make sure you spend some time on the outside leg hang, getting comfortable with that before you take it to this next step. So go forth, make gorgeous shapes. <laughs>